Swings and hits it to deep left center field, and it's a walk-off home run to end the career of Savannah Horvath. And look at the emotion from Horvath, the final swing of her college career. What a magical ending to this game. A magical ending to her career. The CSUN home run record holder hits a home run for her last at bat of her CSUN career. Savannah Horvath hit that home run, a magical ending to her college career. Wow, what a career for Savannah Horvath. We said it earlier, there's not a whole lot of chances in sports to end your career on a win, and when it happens, you tend to think of it as winning a national championship, winning a Super Bowl, something like that. You don't envision your career ending, closing out a 23 and 36 season, but this is really something special. And you can just see it in the reaction of one of the greatest players in the history of this school and this conference, Savannah Horvath. I have chills. It's career home run number 51 for Horvath. And CSUN caps it off. A 6-5 victory over Long Beach State. Long Beach now is not going to be able to get a share of the Big West title. So we're gonna find out on selection day tomorrow whether or not the beach is going to the tournament. Certainly seems likely with a record of 42 and 12, but Nothing's for sure. Well, and what a competitive season it has been for Long Beach State. 42 wins this season. They're definitely in the conversation to go to the regionals. And we have Savannah Horvath who just wow. ruined that. Right now for, for Long Beach State, Savannah Horvath from Seaside. 51 home runs of your career. Congratulations. How are you feeling right now? It's it's insane. Like I can't I can't even like put into words like how much it's just like wow. oh. <laughs> oh man. I appreciate someone taking the headset off for first. We'll, we'll get her reset here for a second. You have to wow. take it to your teammates to Celebrate that home run 51 for you. All right, now, now how are you feeling, Savannah? I'm feeling a lot cooler, actually. You know, um, that, that calmed me down a little bit more. Um, I can't even put into words, like, how much of a blessing that was and just putting it all together and seeing my teammates support me day in and day out. And it just, that one was for them. It wasn't for me. It was for them at that, that point. Savannah, we were talking about up here in the booth. There, there's not a lot of opportunities for athletes to end a career with some kind of signature moment. Uh, certainly, I, I know you'd be hoping that you, your team would be going on to the postseason, but what were you thinking as you stepped up to the plate, knowing it might be the last time and that this moment could be possible for you? Yeah, um, you know, I just, I just went in and I said that whatever happens, I've had fun and this group of girls is just amazing and I wouldn't trade it for the world and I knew that, like I said, I was doing it for them and at that point it wasn't about me. I wasn't being selfish. I just, it was just all for them and I could not have traded whatever the season was. I take it for everything it was and I, I, I just, I'm so excited and ecstatic that it is the way it is and of course every senior wants to go postseason but I'm happy with this. Well, I have to tell you, seeing that swing gave me chills. I'm sure you have some chills now with that water that your teammates <laughs> just threw on you. A little bit, a little bit. But 
you know, Savannah, congratulations on having such a successful career. Tell us, how does it feel knowing that you are in the record books at CSUN? You know, I came in as a freshman, I remember this too, and I just said I wanted to work hard, and I was gonna be a competitor, and I was gonna come in, and I was just gonna play hard, play with heart, and this game has given me so much that I don't think I could ever, like, give back to the world. Like, there's just so much, like, honor, and this, this, this sport just is who I am, and if I didn't have this sport, I don't know what I would be, and I just made sure that I was training in, day in and day out, hard, and that uh, I wasn't gonna let anything pass me by. Well, you're, what, one thing you definitely are, you're one of the few people in the uh, history of softball or baseball that gets to have the last swing of their career be a walk-off home run. That's special, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much, thank you. <laughs> Savannah Horvath, the hero tonight, the hero on a lot of days for CSUN. Oh, quite a uh, moment here for her and uh, really a special one to get to call. So uh, a great win. CSUN takes it by a final score of six to five. The Matadors cap their season 23 and 36 overall, eight and 13 in conference. Long Beach State 42 and 12, an outstanding regular season. 16 and five in the Big West, they'll finish second. Aaron, real quick, you think the beach is going on to the dance, right? I think the beach is going on to the dance and I'll be happy to see two Big West teams facing it off in postseason play. Winning pitcher today, a great effort from Jillian James, the freshman improving to nine and 19. Devin Magnet takes the loss. She is 10 and six and some home runs today. Lombardi hit her fifth for Long Beach State. We had the grand slam, of course, for Journey Rojas and then we'll never forget the home run from Savannah Horvath, the walk-off winner for CSUN. For Aaron Jones, Wesley, and our entire crew, I'm Sam Farber saying it's been a pleasure and a privilege having you with us here in Northridge. A reminder, all games airing on the ESPN Networks do stream live in our archive on the ESPN app. CSUN wins it with the walk-off home run from the senior Savannah Horvath, a special moment. This has been a presentation of ESPN.